Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video I'm going to be showing how I draw a female face and this is just going to be a front view. So I'm going to keep it pretty simple and easy for you just to follow along with me. So I've got my iPad and I've opened up my app Procreate which is where I do all my drawings. So I hope this quick tutorial will just be easy for you to follow along and I really hope that by the end of it you'll be able to be confident in just drawing a female face. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up Pinterest, I'm just swiping it up from the bottom and then dragging it over to the left and then that's this way I can get Procreate and Pinterest side by side. So I'm going to use this reference picture just to draw my face in this video. So I've got my canvas ready and my brush and I'm just going to basically take you through step by step on how I do it. So I always start just by drawing a bit of a guide. So I do a circle for the head and then I draw a line down the middle which will be where the nose is. So because her face is tilted, I'm just doing this on an angle. And then I'm just gonna join up the bottom part of the face. So this will be the chin area. And I always put a little line going vertically across as well. So to show you roughly where I would place all the features, this is where the eyes would go. So in the lower two bottom sections of the circle and the eyebrows would sit on that middle line just above the eyes there. For the nose, that would sit on the bottom line of the circle just here and the mouth would go just in this bottom section in the middle. For the ears, they generally start at the top of the eyes and finish at the bottom of the nose there. And then for the hairline, I usually divide the top section into three bits and then that just kind of helps me guide where the hairline would be. I did actually make a face template that you can download for free. If you want to use it, then I'll leave the link below this video. Hopefully it will just help you kind of get started and then you can play around with the features and the placements yourself. So now I'm going to draw in the actual face. So I'm just going to take the guide layer's opacity down a little bit and then make a new layer on top just so that I can still see the lines but that it doesn't distract me from my actual drawing. For drawing the lips, I usually make two little indents to start and this would go a, about a third way into the eye if you wanted to kind of guide it. And I really like to do these little free circles. It's a really good way of like practicing to draw the lips really easy. I just shared a short video on my YouTube of this actually. So I just put those three circles on a separate layer and then I just basically draw the lips around them. So I think it's just a really easy way if you wanted to try it. Um, after I've done all the facial features in the middle, I'll just continue filling in the face shape and then I'm just going to quickly put the hair in as well, even though it's not a hair video. So I'll speed this up a little bit, but I just want to bring it all together just so it looks better. So now I'm just going to go to the actions tab at the top left and I'm going to flip the canvas horizontally just so I can see if there's any errors. So usually when you flip the canvas, it allows your eye to see the, an image from like a different point of view. And a lot of the times with like my girl drawings, you'll see that the face can look a bit lopsided sometimes. So it's just like a good way to just double check your drawing and make sure it's all looking good. And I always use the cut and paste, um, sorry, the cut and select tool to move around little things. So I'm just adjusting the eyes here, bringing them a little bit lower, um, just so it looks more to like what I like and my style, I guess. Making sure that I flip the canvas back around again. And then now just to finish off the whole illustration, I thought I'd add a little bit of blush and shadows, just sort of a sketchy kind of um, finish really though. And so yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching. Hopefully you found some useful tips from watching how I draw a face. Don't forget to check out the free template guide on drawing a face below the video and I will see you all in my next one. 
Definitely subscribe if you want to see more from me, more tips with Procreate and growing an art business. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.